This video is me making lemonade out of a lemon. I started this thing right here, which is a circle cutting jig, but I made this specifically for cutting holes in glass. Now, while it did work reasonably well for doing that, I wasn't very happy with the way the video came out. So I thought about it and my original idea was just throw away that footage and, you know, throw out the idea. But I said to myself, is there something I could do with this? And then it occurred to me that I could use this jig for cutting holes in wood in exactly the same way, except of course, wood is a lot softer than glass is, so it should work better. Now, I haven't tried it yet. I just finished making this new cutter right here. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna step through the details on how I made this jig here. Now, a lot of the footage that you're gonna be watching is the original stuff for the glass cutter. The first thing I did was find a piece of shaft that was big enough for me to do this with, but still fit up inside my drill press. And then I put it in my vise and I cut it off to a handy length. The next thing I need to do with the rod is drill a hole through for the quarter inch bolt that I'm gonna to use to mount the cutter on. So I've got a V block in my drill press cabinet. I'll take that out and use that to hold the rod while I drill it. Now I need to drill a pilot hole first, but I need a place for the drill bit to start on the round surface of the rod. So I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit with the file and then I can start drilling. Now to maximize, or I guess you could say to minimize the radius that this thing can cut, I'm gonna make a recess for the nut in the shaft. It's also handy for locking the nut so that when I tighten the thing up, it won't turn. Now for the cutter, I'm gonna be using an old carbide tip saw blade, and then I'm gonna make marks on here that line up with the tooth so I can get the maximum out of that. I need to be able to drill a hole through it for the quarter inch bolt. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Before I finish cutting this out, I should drill the hole for the quarter inch threaded rod that's going to hold this onto the cutter. This is still a little bit big on the end here, so what I'm going to do is grind away a little bit of the material that's behind the tooth. And then I can put it together and put it in the drill press, and that's where we are now, ready to go. Okay, now that you know how it works, I'm going to try it out. Like I say, I haven't tried this yet. I know it's going to work, I just don't know how well it's going to work, very similar to the glass one. I got a feeling it's going to be good though. What I have here in the drill press is a piece of maple clamped down to the table. I've got a piece of plywood backing it up so that when I do cut through, it won't you know, cut into my table. The hole diameter is the smallest that this cutter will go. And as you can see, it can be stretched out, but I'm not confident in how strong the quarter inch threaded rod is for this application. I think it would need to be at least a harder grade of steel or a heavier rod, something thicker, maybe three eighths of an inch would work a lot better. Now, a lot of people are probably saying, there's nothing new here, John, this is a fly cutter. Yes, I know it's a fly cutter, but it's a homemade one. And that's what I'm showing here, how you can just grab whatever materials you might have and put one together for next to nothing. I think what happened here is the cutter itself is too wide up at the top here and it got hung up in the kerf, you could say, 
And then you could see the board wobbling back and forth there, and that was a good indication that was happening. I think the better way for this to work would be to use a heavier saw blade to cut the tooth out of it. You get a bigger tooth, a stronger piece of metal behind it, and then make sure that you know what's above the tooth is not angled like this is here so it won't get hung up inside that cut. Also, if you make the cut in so far and say, that's it, and then you can take it to the table saw and cut the disc out that you want to keep or cut the material out that you want to keep. So you'll make the piece thicker to begin with, cut the hole, or you could also do it from the other side if you could accurately line it up. One of the benefits of this type of thing here though is that it will make that clean disc in the middle there, if it's working properly that is. And if you wanna make plugs for something, or poker chips maybe, you could do that with this. You know, Drill in so far in a bunch of places on the piece of wood, bring it to the table saw, and then cut those discs out and use the discs.